want Steve Rose. That's my best Golovkin impression. Who is this man? See him fight on Showbox. Not too much footage out there for fans to watch. He's Canadian. <laughs> 19 and 0 with 10 KOs. Uh, Keandre Leatherwood. Damon Nicholson. You know him. And uh, yeah, Skolovkin's next opponent live on the zone. June 8th, Madison Square Garden. I'm Two Street Controversy. This is Two Street Controversy Live. And, you know, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Though. Don't get me wrong. I'm wondering, could they have come up with a better opponent? People say Golovkin's been on this long layoff. But if you look at it, he's got to fight Canelo in, in September. And remember, the days of pay-per-view for guys like Golovkin and Canelo are gone. So they it's not like they can say, well, I do more buys than you. They work for the zone. They have guaranteed money. The zone is basically a promoter. So they signed him to all this money. He's making about what, 13 million or so plus for this fight. This is them protecting the investment to make sure that they can make Canelo versus Golovkin three because they need those subscribers. This is a business move right here. They need those subscribers bad. Now, fans are going to be pissed. Oh, fans are pissed. Who the fuck is this? But they're not going to just sign him to that new deal and throw him right to the wolves. Even Canelo had to get Rocky Fielding as a heat check, you know? So, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be on the undercard. This is uh, Golovkin's uh, own promotion advised by Tom Loeffler. So it is a uh, GGG promotions or triple G promotions or how are you going to pronounce it? I'm interested to see what the ring is going to look like. I'm interested to see what the undercar is going to look like. And also look at that month on the zone. You know, starting what? Um, I mean, June the 1st, you're getting Joshua now versus God knows who because Big Baby Miller failed the drug test. Getting this the next week. May the 25th, you get um, Usyk versus Takam. Not to mention on um, just a month before this, you know, a month, four days before this or so, you know, um, May the 4th, you get a Canelo versus Jacobs. So they're giving us, you know, solid boxing, but people expect a lot more from Golovkin. But me personally, like me, understanding how politics work this day and age in boxing, you know, with, on a brand new contract, they wasn't going to give him a tough fight. Mayweather wasn't going to sign that new uh, Showtime contract and go in there and motherfucking fight an Amir Khan or Manny Pacquiao at that time. Fury fighting Tom Swartz signed his new contract with ESPN. Dominic, I mean, um, Deontay Wilder, they, they, in a way, they're kind of welcoming a Dominic Brazil. Even though they wanted like the big, big money, but they can welcome that. Get that out of the way. You know, no politics. You know? But oh, I'm going to start scouring the dark web for footage on Mr. Um, Mr. Steve Rolls here. 35 years old of uh, Toronto, Canada. Let's see if we can get a little something. Just a little taste. But now it's, it's saturated now to find the videos because everybody doing Steve Rolls videos, man. Wait, is this it? Yeah, there's some footage. Hey, Showtime. Hey, hey, hey. I can use this Showtime shit. It's for educational purposes. Just got to make sure. I'm fucking around with them. They yank my video down or try to copyright my sh make me sit. Like this is Steve Rose in the black. Let's get a little. Let's, let's check him out a little bit. Right and make this banner small. Oh. Oh. Right oh, we gonna fuck the love up, y'all. Oh, Golovkin's finished. Oh, that's it. Here comes another one again, set up by the jab. Oh, that Golovkin ain't seen that speed, that power. And he got beat. Now here's the end. And watch Lawrence Cole. Oh, Lawrence Cole. You know Jim Lampley hate his guts. Lawrence Cole will yes. let you die in there, though. Yes. And Lawrence Cole definitively stepping in. Yo, Golovkin, he better watch out. That's it. He better watch out. 
I'm putting the house on Steve Rose. No, don't don't put the house on Steve Rose. Don't do it. Whew. Let's go look at some rankings and talk about the 160 pound division as we like to do for some filler in this video. Um, obviously, you got Canelo, WBC and WBA Super World Champion. He is taking on IBF champion Danny Jacobs in a fight where I feel is 50-50. Danny Jacobs got to sit on his punches and let Canelo know, yeah, I'm a young, real 168 pounder. You know, I meant 160 pounder. Demetrius Andrade is likely fighting on Shu Salusky, who's hoping to be ready by June. And Demetrius Andrade is going to be fighting in Rhode Island. In fact, we got some content from Demetrius Andrade coming next. Thanks to my man, Donnell Haynes, who actually um, met up with Demetrius Andrade at um, Shoes versus Hammer this past weekend. Right now it is April the 17th, 2019-703. I just need to get me a clock. I used to, I have a clock that I use. You know what? I'm going to bring the clock back. I'm put the clock right in this little box right here. Put the clock up there. Shit. Um, he's going to be defending his title. Many are wondering what he's going to do. It's almost like the zone is like building his profile up or trying to before he gets a Canelo or a um or a um Danny Jacobs. Or even a Sulkin or Golovkin. So, for example, I would think that Demetrius Andrade could get, well, Demetrius Andrade and Dana Jacobs are friends, close friends. I already talked to them about that shit. You got a Sergei Derevianchenko who did not look good against Jack Kouké, who's the IBF mandatory. I expect for him to, I'm sorry, I expect for him to lose to whoever he fights. Whoever has the IBF belt, whether it's Canelo or Danny Jacobs. So he is in the mix. He could end up on the zone. And he is still a Debella fighter, from my understanding. Um, David Lemieux is stepping up to 168 pounds. He's taking on John Ryder to be the WBA interim champion at 168. What the fuck? They just making up belts to likely be the mandatory for Canelo so the WBA don't have to order Canelo versus Smith. WBA, you make me sick. <laughs> Jamal Charlo is coming back, and he's going to be fighting rumored Brandon Adams, who Golovkin was rumored to be fighting. Brandon Adams, winner of uh, The Contender. So this is his reward for winning a TV tournament. Crazy, right? Many were speculating that Golovkin will probably fight Camille C uh, Cesar Meta or Hassan Indom. I would have, truth be told, preferred Endom over Rose because at least, you know, fans would have been like, well, they, they know who Endom is, but maybe Endom. I want to know if they even approached him or talked to him or what, you know, happened there. And that's pretty much the top of the 160 pound division right there. We don't know what Murata is going to do, but it is heavy rumors that uh, Rob Brand is going to face him over in um, Japan again. And that if that don't go down, then Rob Brand could face Jeff Horn at 160 pounds. Crazy. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there because Bob Arum is eventually going to put heat on the WBA to order um, either Rob Brand or Murata, whoever wins that WBA title to fight so Canelo Alvarez. So some purse bid wars going on right there. Let's see what other names. I'm interested to see what these Falco brothers are going to do. Yamaguchi and um, what's the other one? Eskiva, you know, brothers, brothers, Falcoy, interested to see what them, they're going to do because Demetrius Andrade at one point was supposed to fight one of them. And yeah, that is, you know, Jason Quigley, we're still trying to figure out who he is. But yeah, that's the top of the 160 uh, pound division. Also, Matt Van Korboff is back on what card is he on? Is he on the undercard of Barthelemy? Um, Easter Barthelemy versus Emmanuel Aleem. Remember, in my opinion, he should have beat, got a win over Jamal Charlo. Very close win, you know, but Charlo's got mad at me for saying that. In T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live, June 8th. Um, no, I'm not going to this fight. I'm supposed to be going to the Joshua fight. I should go to, no, but Joshua ain't never coming back over here, though, probably. Or may not for a while. Yeah, you know, we'll worry about that later. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Uh, please subscribe.